Yo guys, tonight, as you see, tonight um, will be an alternate history prediction again. Um, sorry about the delay on election nights. Um, I am working on um, on one currently. Um, I won't give any spoilers, but as you see on your screen, we are doing 2016. If Vice President Joe Biden did run, um, along with Senator Ted Cruz winning the nomination, so these two will, um, they speculated that the Vice President Joe Biden could run, um, would run for 2016, but as we know, he ended up not, or deciding not to, um, but he um, was ahead in many polls against many different candidates, so um, so this will be our starting map. Um, I will say Georgia will be safe though. Um, 200 for Joe Biden to Ted Cruz's 180. If you do like this video, um, please leave a like, please comment down. Any suggestions, any questions for my Q&A, um, comment down. If you agree or disagree with my prediction, um, I take all opinions into consideration, whether they're positive or negative. Um, but um, share this with your any of anyone you know, your friends, your family, your grandma, your dog. Heck. Um, but yeah, so this will be our starting map, 200 and 180. Um, being. Joe Biden from a state like Pennsylvania, they say in most of my predictions with him, him being from the Scranton area, the Philadelphia suburb, mostly where um, they are Tulsa counties, I believe he will win the state. Um, most of my predictions do show him winning the state, especially because his appeal again with the Obama administration, he will have the African American appeal that Hillary Clinton did not have. That essentially made her lose these three Rust Belt states, along with different things. Along with the Reagan Democrat, the appeal just to the Rust Belt, especially since he is from a place like Pennsylvania, a traditionally leaning Democratic state. Um, as we know, until 2016, um, no candidate won Pennsylvania since Vice President, Vice President George Bush, George H. W. Bush, to be exact, Bush 41 under the Reagan administration and it will continue to be blue in my prediction he will um, Ted Cruz will carry North Carolina uh, very narrowly I do not believe Joe Biden will have um, just enough appeal to win the state um, but he will win the one congressional district in Maine along with New Hampshire two traditionally um, toss-up um, states Last going red in 2004 um, for Governor George Bush, Bush 43, and he will um, he will carry those states again. Ted Cruz um, being a more you could say um, I consider him more of a conservative um, conservative Republican rather than a moderate. So he will do well with um, with his party lines, supporting his party lines, which will help him win. Um, which will help him win this state, I believe. Um, we will be keen to him. Give him the state of Florida. This is a, in my opinion, a very generous um, prediction because I believe um, Joe Biden, with his experience, with his record as a easy advantage over Ted Cruz but this is a generous and hypothetical prediction so we'll give that state to Senator Ted Cruz but once again Joe Biden's appeal in the Rust Bowl is too great for practically any candidate to counter <laughs> and his popularity ratings were even higher than his boss Barack Obama in 2016 so he will carry the state of Michigan along with the state of Nevada he has um, he has gone there many times during his 2008 and 2012 campaigns. The choice of him in 28 in, tw in 2008 did affect the state. Um, I believe it was actually toss up and went to lean Democratic around the time where he was announced in 20 in 2008, along with Colorado. I believe that will be the same case. 
uh, Joe Biden will win the state, and it's nine electoral votes. So as you see, we have four states in the heartland of the country still yet to be decided. Uh, I do believe Joe Biden will carry the state of of um, Wisconsin with ten electoral votes. As you see, he's at two sixty six, and. It puts him four electoral votes away from the presidency, as you see. If he did win all of the states, he would end at 303, which was what which was what was predicted for 2012 um, for most um, predictions. Um, and once again, we'll be um, we'll say Ohio. I'll say we'll be generous to study the Cruz once more. We'll give him Ohio because. Oh, give him the benefit of the doubt where he will do well with the conservative vote within the white rural um, Christian conservative evangelical vote um, the rural areas in the state more in the central part um, the central part of the state along with where um, sorry about that where oil factories were down here on the coast of West Virginia and will do well up here in the suburbs of Cuyahoga County and he will, will with the benefit of the doubt will carry that state but he will lose this election because I believe Joe Biden will win the state of Iowa as we know um, it went red lastly in 2004 for President George um, W. Bush um, going for Al Gore by less than a thousand votes, I believe, in the previous election. So, but Joe Biden has a uh, touch with again with the Rust Belt. It, Iowa is considered at times a Rust Belt state, the west, the eastern side of the state, and we'll give him that state along with the state of Virginia, because well, he resides in the District of Columbia, which is in the Fairfax, Prince William County suburbs, down here as along in the Atlantic coast. Down here, there's a huge African American slice of population down here. Another big population center, Virginia Beach. Um, what other county? Virginia Beach. Um, London County, I believe. No, that's in the Philadelphia suburb. But a big, another big growing population center down here in the southeastern suburbs, Virginia Beach suburbs, and he will carry that state. As you see now, our final prediction: 285 to 253. Um, if you did enjoy this prediction, please leave a like, please comment down any s questions for my Q&A. Um, if you agree or disagree with this prediction, or anything like that, but, um, I do see a path for victory, even against such a strong candidate for, t for um, like Joe Biden. Um, I do believe he could carry out potentially a Colorado and an Iowa, which puts him at 268, which, and he would have to find somewhere else, which could be the one congressional district in Maine and he would win via the House of Representatives or potentially just win um, or potentially as you see if you would take a look he is at um, needing 17 so you need to find something in there maybe a combination of these two of these three excuse me but I do see a potential a slim but potential viable path for the center but this is my final prediction, 285 to 253. If you did enjoy the video, again, please leave a like. Let anyone know this video of these videos on my channel. We are growing at a very fast rate. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.